Why do we perform a HIDA scan? Mainly a HIDA scan is performed to look at the function of the gallbladder. However, we also use it to track the bile as it's coming from the liver. Like we use it to be able to see how well the flow is between the ducts as well as the gallbladder into the bowel. It also helps, uh, helps in being able to diagnose different diseases and conditions of the gallbladder. We also use it in pediatrics to be able to see if a child has a congenital abnormality called atresia. One of the most important parts about doing a HIDA scan is going to be patient prep. You want to make sure to verify with your patient that they haven't had anything to eat or drink within the last four hours. This is going to change from site to site. Some will do it as long as short as four hours to as long as 12 hours. You also want to make sure that your patient hasn't had any opiates like morphine within the last six hours. And once again, this will also vary depending on site to site. It could be as long as 24 hours. What I'm going to show you is how to position, how you want to position your patient. I have my lovely assistant here. She's going to come and lay some pine on the table for us. Excellent. One of the things you can do if you're patient, if for your patient, if you don't have a knee pillow, is to take a regular pillow, fold it in half, and stick it under their knees. And since they're going to be laying here for a while, you want to make sure that your patient is, is as comfortable as can be. Now, what I will have her do is she can keep her hands on her body, on her body she'd like, but I would ask her to hold her hands a little bit lower and just let her know that I'm going to be going, I'm going to be recording the liver area. When positioning your patient, you want to make sure that they are in their in the supine position and comfortable. And you want to bring them in so that you can put, and you'll be looking at your P scope, and you want to make sure that the liver is in the upper quadrant of the field of view. One of the ways that you can do this is to, is to check to make sure that the Zyphoid process is in the upper one third field, field of the camera field of view. Once you have your position, your patient positioned in, you want to make sure that you bring your camera head, your camera heads together to get as close as possible to get the best quality image. Now that I have my patient all positioned and have the liver in the upper quadrant of the field of view, you only need to bring the, cam the, bird, the camera head one down because it would only image from an anterior view for this particular scan. So once the height exam is done, what will the results look like? Well, let me show you. Here, you'll have the liver, you'll see the, the, the bile ducts, and you'll see the gallbladder, and you'll also see, see bowel. All this you should see within 60 minutes of the scan starting. That's gonna be a normal. Now, there are other things out there that you, may also, that you might also see also that may be not normal. I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but I'll just show you briefly what those look like. With this scan, as you can see, there's something missing. There's no gallbladder. So we have the liver and we have bowel, and at the end of the 60 minutes, there's no gallbladder. That would be considered an abnormal study. With this scan, where the gallbladder doesn't show up even after an hour, but we have bowel activity, for this, being that this is something that's abnormal, one of the things you could do at this point would be to administer morphine to cause a backflow pressure to be able to see if you can force the gallbladder to show up that way. Another example of an abnormal study that you might see out there is, is one that we have here where we have the liver, we have the gallbladder, but at the end of an hour we have no bowel. That would also be considered an abnormal study. In this scan where the bowel didn't show up but the gallbladder showed up, there's a couple of things that your site will may, may do also. One of the things they can do is give a little sip of water to see if that helps move some of the bile from the gallbladder out to the to the bowel area or if your patient is ambulatory they can also get up and walk around for a few minutes and then put them back on the table to see if the if bowel has shown 
In this other example of a normal gall of a normal HIDA scan, we can see here that the gallbladder and the bowel clearly showed up. So the tech was able to end the exam at 45 minutes instead of having to wait a complete hour. Okay, go. Once the exam is done. And why do we perform the HIDA scan? This is performed most times to evaluate the gallbladder function. Um, um, um. It can also be used to track the, to give you, ah, ah, ah. Um, anything of the opiate family, 